Introduction to Tusculan Disputations. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jeffrey Edwards. Tusculan Disputations by Cicero. Translated by Charles Duke Young. Introduction. In the year ab urbi condita 708 and the sixty-second year of cicero's age his daughter tullia died in childbed and her loss afflicted cicero to such a degree that he abandoned all public business and leaving the city retired to astera which was a country house that he had near antium where after a while he devoted himself to philosophical studies and besides other works he published his treatise de finibus and also this treatise called the tusculan disputations of which middleton gives this concise description the first book teaches us how to contemn the terrors of death and to look upon it as a blessing rather than an evil the second to support pain and affliction with a manly fortitude the third to appease all our complaints and uneasinesses under the accidents of life the fourth to moderate all our other passions and the fifth explains the sufficiency of virtue to make men happy it was his custom in the opportunities of his leisure to take some friends with him into the country where instead of amusing themselves with idle sports or feasts their diversions were wholly speculative tending to improve the mind and enlarge the understanding in this manner he now spent five days at his tusculan villa in discussing with his friends the several questions just mentioned for after employing the mornings in declaiming and rhetorical exercises they used to retire in the afternoon into a gallery called the academy which he had built for the purpose of philosophical conferences where after the manner of the greeks he held a school as they called it and invited the company to call for any subject that they desired to hear explained which being proposed accordingly by some of the audience became immediately the argument of that day's debate these five conferences or dialogues he collected afterward into writing in the very words and manner in which they really passed and published them under the title of his tusculan disputations from the name of the villa in which they were held. End of introduction.